Okay. Your giant question. The sports books are saying the Oilers are Stanley Cup favorites. Sportsnet put out their kind of poll of all of their staff. 90% of them picked the Edmonton Oilers. Your question. Are you nervous about how many people are picking the Oilers to win the cup? Frank picked the Oilers to win the cup. Like, again, the strong majority of people you talk to go, the Oilers are my Stanley Cup favorites. I'm picking the Oilers to win the cup. And quite honestly, the team that is in that position, the pole position to begin the year, they rarely ever win the Stanley Cup. So are you nervous about that? Yeah, I've kind of had these thoughts in my head for a while, too, of just... Does it matter? I don't know. I mean, shouldn't they be? Like, they should be everybody's favorites to win the cup. They have a great team. We just kind of spoke about their offseason. They have the two of the top five best players in the world. I don't know. I like. I don't believe in many of those teams, to be honest, to win the Stanley Cup. Like, Colorado probably shouldn't be as high as they are. Vancouver. Like, who are the legit cup contenders in there? The Oilers. I don't think the Panthers... Oh, no. I don't want to write them off. Dallas, right? Dallas is a wagon still. Yeah, they're, Colorado they're could good. Colorado could be there. I think if Nishushkin's back and is dialed. Question mark, so. Landis Gog and Carolina, Gorgiev. Carolina. Yeah. I'm, I'm, not as good. Yeah. The Rangers. Yeah, the Rangers, Rangers probably. Yes. So of that list, you're probably looking at three, let's say four teams, and we'll say Florida. So no, I wouldn't say I'm actually that concerned about it when you go through the process of like, who are even the cup contenders? You know who we should ask that question to? Yes. Andy McNeil. Right. But maybe we'll just pick up the conversation Liam and I were just having of how many true cup contenders are there? Like if you had to pick an inner circle of like these teams actually have a good shot as they're built right now, how many teams would be in that inner circle and who would they be? Well, first of all, I, I think you, you guys nailed it on the head there, uh, you know, just talking about the Oilers. And I mean, there's, you know, really no reason they shouldn't be the Stanley Cup favorite heading into this season. Uh, and uh, and as far as being nervous about Edmonton's chances, I mean, you know, the reason that the favorite doesn't win or, or seems not to win every every other year, um, it's that, you know, like even at seven to one, the odds that Edmonton is currently sitting at right now, that only implies a 12.5% chance. That means that almost 90% of the time, somebody else wins the Stanley Cup, right? So being the favorite doesn't uh, doesn't necessarily mean uh, an increased probability. I know some people, it'll vary. You'll have some people that say the Oilers have, you know, as much of a, as a, a 20% chance of, of winning the Stanley Cup. I've got them at 11%, and they're the only team that I have uh, with a, a better than 10% chance of winning the Stanley Cup. I've got a, a couple of more uh, in the 9% range. You talked about the Dallas Stars. I, I agree, they're a wagon. I think they're the second best team in the, the Western Conference after Edmonton. And uh, the Rangers, who, I mean, you know, New Jersey's going to get a lot of attention heading into this season. But New York put up uh, 114 points last season, uh, 107 uh, the year before that, 113 the year before that. I mean, this is they're the real deal. And they might not have the the, the strongest underlying metrics, but they got a great goaltender. Uh, and, you know, they put up 100 points in their sleep. So I still think they're a, a Stanley Cup contender as well. Um, but, yeah, some of the, you know, there, there are – a handful of teams, but uh, I think like last year, it's it's pretty wide open. And realistically, any of the 16 teams that uh, make the playoffs could uh, could potentially make a run.